With your moon in the ninth house, for you, you get a sense of happiness and security from knowing that you have your own personal world, world view. You have your own personal philosophy that you carry through life and that's very important to you. It could be that it's your own philosophy that you've just come to understand through your own experiences or it could be that it's some sort of spiritual or religious philosophy or even it could be an atheist philosophy. It could be anything but it's some sort of world view that you hold dearly and was likely introduced to you um, by a parent of yours, possibly your mother. And this is just something that gives you a sense of security as you travel through life. And speaking of traveling, you're somebody who not only loves to undertake travels of the mind and conceptualize and who understands symbols and can really grasp um, a lot of patterns very easily and likes to kind of spend time there, you're also somebody who is attracted to long distance travel and who might actually find yourself setting up home abroad. You might find that you don't feel so comfortable in your um, motherland and that you, you search and you end up living abroad and that's actually where you feel more at home and more at ease. It could also be that you um, are attracted to somebody who is from a different country, you know, of a different culture or background, or that there's that already in your family, in the mother's side of the family. Um, there's a possibility of that. You naturally gear towards higher learning and politics and social issues and humanitarian issues and those are areas where you would do really well and you're just at home there and you're just comfortable, you know, expanding your mind and exploring and you have a lot to offer in that sense, you know. Um, because of the fact that the moon is, you know, it goes through different phases, it could be that your outlook on life changes quite a lot. You know, it could be that you take in a lot of different ideas through your life, a lot of different world views and and you're open to shifting what you believe. You're not necessarily stuck or rigid in what you believe. You're open to changing it as you learn more and more and more and progressing. When you travel, you really love to absorb and soak up the experience of the different culture that you're in. And something that you might find that you like doing is you might like experiencing different cultures through food. So through the local foods that they have there might be a, a way that you feel you really understand the culture and it might kind of be quite nurturing and just bring you to life a bit and give you a deeper understanding of the cultures. You know, some people are like that. Some people love, they, some people travel just to try different foods and you might be one of them. If any one of the signs is likely to do that, it's likely to be you. This moon makes you somebody who is great at receiving information. You can take in a lot of information and that makes you a really good listener. At the same time, you have a very broad and vivid and amazing and expansive imagination. And so that can lend itself to all types of things, really. I mean, for some reason, I can't help thinking that um, the directors, the film directors of the world might be, have this kind of a placement. You know, somebody who can dream really big in their minds and and conceptualize all these crazy different moving parts of something like a film. Um, so that might be something that you're attracted to, but definitely you have a very um, amazing mind. You're able to really take in a lot of information and really absorb it and put it all in its rightful place. And that's uh, quite a cool skill to be able to have. Bye.